The term grinder is used in a lot of different ways. Uh, we could, it could be someone who is playing an RPG and is trying to level up. It could be a sandwich. It could also be someone who hacks their own body. So we've talked about biohacking before, the, giving yourself uh, some kind of uh, chemical or uh, mechanical enhancement to, to your body. But there's a community of people who are just doing it to themselves. They would be called grinders. Um, so Idiots. Well, that is, uh, that, that's, that's your word. It is, and, and, I, and I will stand by it. I mean, have, you, <laughs> have they not played Bioshock? Do they not know where this leads? I mean, it's inevitable. <laughs> like, as long as it's not Eve, I think it's okay. I, well, okay, well. Well, actually, no, I don't. I need to disagree with that. I'm, I'm not sure if I agree with all of these myself um, in terms of safety, I, that, in terms of medical my, training. Absolutely. Now, uh, go ahead and I'll, I'll, I'll All right, well, let's take a look a at some of them. Now, the first one we're going to look at is night vision eye drops. We've talked about this on the show before. Um, a man named Gabriel Lucina scored a chlorine E6. Uh, AKA CE6, which is what I was reading, into his eyeballs and then wore black contacts to see in the dark. He says it helped his night vision. Um, however, uh, ophthalmologists say, do not do this. Yeah, you this is will, insane. might get a retinal hemorrhage. So it's like, I'm going to have night vision, for which I, I think that the average human being needs maybe never, and uh, at the same time also maybe ruin all of my vision. This comes from Rich Lee, a man who knew he was going blind, so he decided to give himself implants to augment his hearing. So it goes like this. You can stick magnets into your ears, get a coil and an amplifier, stick the coil around your neck. You gotta have a backup supply of batteries like this, but once the coil's on your neck, you can plug a jack into your phone. It's amplified, right? <clears throat> Instead of sending it through earbuds like like it would, you know, with with headphones or, or whatever, it sends it into the coil. So what does that do? That creates a magnetic field that causes the magnets in my ears to create sound, which is a trip. I've also got this magnet implanted in my finger, and I find that when I stick my finger into my ear and the coil's going, I can hear music coming out of my fingertips, which is a crazy experience. Not a lot of people have had that happen to them. It's kind of cool. No. There's a reason not a lot of people have had that, that happen to them. That is an extremely risky procedure. I you don't could, know why you would... You can end up with a major infection absolutely. or possibly amputation. Right. I, I wouldn't. There's a lot of other alternatives if you are going blind to increasing the ability to hear, which are, are, are safe and uh, medically accepted practices that... Do not involve people, you know, Mad Max style, like augmenting their their Mad bodies. Mad Max, the... let's fucking do it! <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, it's just like why? I, I get it that they, people want to push the boundaries and push the envelope of humanity and be bionic, but it's like to what? At what cost? I mean, I can't even imagine people like if I got a tattoo in five weeks, I would be like, nope, that was stupid. Uh, <laughs> imagine like. Changing my body to the point where it was like I had I had irreparably screwed up my senses. I just I I cannot fathom any. And I, maybe I'm a square. Maybe I'm an idiot. I'm sure someone will tell me. But let's like a look at another um, biohack or something a grinder has done. It is a very big. Okay, this might be gross. A very big uh, biometric computer chip. So you would get health data like you would maybe get through um, a wearable tech, uh, but inside your body. Once this chip is implanted, what are you going to do with it? Simply because it simply currently reads my temperature data, I'm basically going to use that to determine if there are certain things that are causing my temperature to fall or rise. Also, I'm probably going to set it up so that it'll send me a text message if it thinks I'm getting a fever. We'll turn on the light on low, and uh, that'll go. As you can see here, we have uh, rates for various signals and where they're being read from. Tell me about the procedure. What, what's going to happen is um, I have this tattoo here, and I'm going to receive an incision here on the tattoo. My skin will be lifted and separated away from its fatty tissues, and the device will be inserted into the pocket that is created, and then it will be sutured shut. Look at that. That is absurd. We can argue how useful any of these uh, benefits yes. are. This is the lowest one. You could easily get a bracelet that does this. Or even just like, you know if you're getting a fever, 
your internal body tells you that. You feel gross, and then you go and find out. It's like, I, they're, they're just, I don't know. I'm done. It's a lot. I'm quitting. It's a lot to think about and a lot to worry about. On one hand, I would say this is disgusting. You need to talk to a licensed medical doctor before modifying uh, inside of your body. On the other hand, they're doing it to their own bodies and not hurting other people. So I'm not really sure where we need to draw the line at all. What would you think? I think that... Um with any kind of like body, uh, like specifically like very, very um, dramatic body modification, a lot of times there are uh, psychological issues that that also go along with this. When a lot of people do like extreme plastic surgery, and oh. they find themselves thinking that like once they change this thing about them, that they will be happy or that it'll fix the thing that's wrong that they feel that's wrong inside. And s studies have said many times, and it's it's commonly known that that is certainly not the case, and that mm -hmm. people who have issues like that are not able to rectify those kind of problems. I don't know if that's going on in this situation. I'm not a doctor. I'm not any kind of licensed anything. I have a driver's license, but that's about it. And, and uh, you know, to see that people are doing maybe permanent damage to themselves in, in the sa sake of either, I don't know if, the, if it's an attention-seeking thing. Who knows? It just, well, it, it's, it's trying a, to change your physical abilities. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I, I just think it's, uh, it's a little bit, man, it's a little it's bit too far. A little bit to too me, extreme. You know, but, you know, who knows? Yeah, I can't really tell you what to do with your own body. I will tell you this is dangerous, that I, again, don't do this to other people, first of all. And secondly, I would definitely consult a doctor before doing any of these things, or at least the Apple store in terms of the biometric chip. <laughs> uh, what do you think, audience? Would you ever do any extreme body modification uh, in order to change your, or enhance your physical ability, abilities? Let us know below in the comments, and please be sure to subscribe for more.